This is a demo of 39480. What I do on people who are not local, be they shift or they have to drive a great distance, is we make some demonstration videos and uh, make sure there are uh, not much of a cameraman here. Hang on. And make sure um, all the issues that an item is brought to us for are corrected. And I'm trying to adjust the lighting here while I jockey this camera around. So what we're going to do is introduce you to the test equipment first. And we're going to do two things. We're going to hook this up to speakers, as you would at home. But we're also going to monitor the output simultaneously on a dual trace oscilloscope, which is this device. The upper display is your left channel, lower display is your right. Above that is a pretty nifty device. It's a Nakamichi audio analyzer. The upper display on that will be your left channel, lower display will be your right. That item also gives us uh, power readings, distortion, frequency response. Very nice all in one little unit. And yeah, let's see what we can do here. I've uh, got the front of this off. We've been testing it now for at least a week. And so what I'm going to do is make a short duration test and uh, send it up to YouTube. And then um, maybe tonight or tomorrow I'll do an overnight test and send you that file directly. That will be a massive, massive file though. So we're going to start you out with a, a manageable file on YouTube. I don't know if you've ever seen the inside of one of these, but uh, pretty impressive, nice transformer. Big heat sinks, uh, separate plug-in audio boards. Uh, normally I don't like plug-in audio boards except they use gold-plated um, connectors, which is uh, Sansui of that vintage. Uh, it's uh, incredible quality. Gold-plated connectors throughout the entire machine. Uh, and get some crazy stuff now. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to turn it on, and first of all, let's turn it off. This goes through a, um, a safety type power supply. That's why even though it was in the on position, it was not on. And I'm going to make sure the volume is all the way down. And what's going to happen is, when I turn this on, we're going to um, be running a 400 cycle sine wave into both left and right channel. And um, that may... Uh, cancel out if it hits the microphones out of phase. It may distort if I have the volume up too, too loud. But the proof they're putting will be the oscilloscope display. Um, after we do that, we're then going to go to audio. And then I'm going to step out for a few minutes, come back, wrap up this video, and um, send it up to YouTube. So let's make sure the volume's down. Yep. Turn it on. Oh, the other thing is the filters for the lamps on this, uh, their stock are blue. Don't have them. The filters on the original lamps are destroyed. So you're not going to have the blue look. You're going to have the uh, the standard look of the lamps, which is yellow. Uh, I'm more concerned with the performance of the item, not how it looks. But I just want to let you know. So we're going to turn it on. There we go. And uh, let's turn up some volume here. Okay. Now again, that may be distorting on this microphone, but um, that's how Logitech makes this camera with a very sensitive microphone. Anyways, remember the I'm going to zero in on. Yeah, we can do both. I'm going to take the left channel. Notice the right meter is going down and the right display is going down on the scope and the distortion analyzer. Then we're going to go left channel, right channel. Left channel, right channel. Now what I'm going to do is switch over the music. Let me turn this down. You may not be able to hear me. I'm going to switch over the music. Then I'm going to step out for a few minutes. So let's... Um, oh, that lighting is killing the meters. Isn't it? Yeah, that's horrible lighting. Yeah, this is not Hollywood production. We're... Uh, uh, we are technicians, not cameramen. Okay, that is the, uh, I think it's the Angels game. 
And you know, I'm going to raise this a little bit so you can see the scope and the meters at the same time. Maybe I'm not. Because the amplifier is so big, usually they're not that high. So it's screwing up my uh, camera work here, but. Uh, whoops. All right. There we go. Now we can see all three in the case. The scope. I'm going to turn that up a little bit. So you have the scope. The meters and the knocking So I'm going to step out for a few minutes and uh, uh, go get some lunch. Well, when Susan has a star of the game, that's sponsored by your Mercedes-Benz Tri-State dealers on the web at searchmercedes.com. I hear the totals in the game for Tampa, eight runs, nine hits, one error, they left six. For the end, one run, three hits, three errors, they left seven. Erasmo Ramirez is the winner, he's seven and three. Ivan Nova, the loser, is one and two. With the victory, Tampa improves to 43 and 41. With the loss, the Yankees dropped to 44 and 38. But no matter what Baltimore does, even if the Orioles win and they're up 2 0 in Chicago mid innings, the Yankees will be in first place. They will lead. If Baltimore wins, they lead Baltimore by a game. And if Baltimore loses, they lead the Orioles by a deuce. The time of the game today, 2 hours and 59 minutes, and the attendance 35,050. And once again, the final score is Tampa Bay 8 and the Yankees 1. New York Yankees baseball is a production of Sports Radio 66 and 101.9 FM WFAN in conjunction with the New York Yankees. Studio operations by Casey Keith. And Paul Rosenberg, producer engineer in the booth, is Jack Candy Maldonado. Executive producer is Joe Kramer. Coordinating producer, Vicki Biello. Production assistance by Rick Flouch. Now, please stay tuned for the Aguera Energy New York Yankees postgame show starring Mike McCann. And that's upcoming momentarily. And for Susan Waldman. This is John Sterling saying so long from Yankee Stadium. And Tampa wins at 8 1. Have a good night. Now, the New York Yankees radio network driven by Chief. Yankees baseball was presented by the G Cherokee, Bill Free. It was also brought to you by City MD, Feel Better, Faster. Foxwoods Resort Casino. Visit foxwoods.com. Your Tri State Four Dealers, New York Presbyterian Hospital, the official hospital of the New York Yankees. Amazing things are happening here. Old Dominion Household Services. Get a quote at odmove.com for your next move. The New York Lottery. Hey, you never know. Your Mercedes Benz Tri State Dealers. Visit mbusa.com. Barnabas Health. New Jersey's largest hospital and healthcare system. Domino's Pizza, the official pizza of the New York Yankees radio network. The New York Post, bringing you the best sports in town every day. Your Tri-State Hyundai dealers. Salino and Barnes. Injured? Don't wait. Call 8-800-888-8888. Workman Circle Multi-Care Center. Quality care close to home. The Tri-State Audi dealers. Audi, the official luxury vehicle of the New York Yankees. Energy, Indian Point Energy Center, the region's most reliable source of electric. Geico, 
15 minutes could save you 15% or more on your car insurance. Sunoco, official fuel of the Yankees radio broadcast booth. Stay tuned for the Yankees postgame show on the WFAN Yankees radio network. The Hyundai 4th of July sales event is back and better than ever. So hurry into your local Hyundai dealer today and take advantage of this summer's hottest deals on Hyundai's hottest vehicles. Come in and drive home at U.S. News and World Report's best midnight car for the money. The totally redesigned 2015 Hyundai Sonata. Yours for only $139 a month for 36 months with $28.69 due at least signing. Or get behind the wheel of the five-star overall safety rated 2015 Hyundai Elantra. Now only $129 a month for 36 months with an incredibly low $16.89 due at least signing. Or receive up to $27.50 bonus tax. And remember, no matter which model you do, you'll enjoy the peace of mind that comes with knowing every Hyundai is backed by Hyundai Assurance, including America's best warranty, 10 years, 100,000 miles. So hurry in to your local Hyundai dealer, because this event ends July 6th. America's best warranty claim based on total package warranty program. See dealer for limited warranty details. Call one 216 for offer details. Hey, Cricket or Metro PCS customers. For a limited time, slash your Cricket or Metro PCS payment in half when you switch to Boost Mobile. With Cricket or Metro, you'll pay $40 a month for a plan. But with Boost, you'll pay half that. That's just $20 a month, plus you get 2.5 gigs of high speed data to go with it. Hurry into your local Boost Mobile store today for details. And check out the lineup of the latest Samsung Galaxy phone. Offer valid until 7015. Requires valid in store parts from Select Cricket or Metro PCS Wireless plans to eligible Boost Monthly plan at participating indirect dealers. Excludes BoostMobile.com and national retailers. Not all Metro PCS or Cricket plans will have an equivalent Boost plan, and certain Cricket or Metro PCS plan services may not be included. Half the short promotional plan expires, and plan automatically changes to higher price equivalent plan. Not combinable with certain other promotions. Same local sales taxes or fees may apply when adding funds to accounts. Coverage and offers not available everywhere. Boost reserves the right to modify, extend, or cancel offer at any time. Terms of use rules and other restrictions apply. See participating dealer for complete details. Credit is a registered trademark of Credit Communications Incorporated. Metro PCS is a registered trademark of T-Mobile USA Incorporated. CBA Metro PCS. Let's say you wanted to find some extra money fast. Where would you look? Under a rock? End of a rainbow? If I were you, I'd go to Geico.com. In 15 minutes or less, you could be saving hundreds of dollars on car insurance. A beautiful long-lasting outdoor landscape starts with Techo Block, one of the industry's leading manufacturers of paving stuff. Hi, I'm Brian Bellity. At New England Silica, you can see and experience our large assortment of Techo Block products. Professionally installed or do-it-yourself, we'll work with you to determine the right Techo Block product for your outdoor project. New England Silica, where the pros go. Route 5 South Windsor and on the web at newenglandsilica.com. You can hear the Rob Dibble Show. That's my show. Weekdays at 3, right here on 97.9 ESPN. The Yankees Agara Energy Postgame Show is powered by Agara Energy, the next generation of energy efficiency, demand management, and retail energy supply. And is also brought to you by Liebert's Royal Green, Go Green, Buy Green, Save Green, Bigelow, Family Tea Blenders since 1945, Certa Pro Painters, because painting is personal, at and Mobilizing your world. Mobile Messenger Service, New York's number one delivery service since 1971. And by PC Richard & Son, the official appliance electronics and mattress retailer of the New York Yankees. And welcome to the Gara Energy Yankees postgame show. Mike McCann in for Sweeney Murdy this afternoon. And not a great day for the Yanks who lose to the Rays 8-1. to One of those games where... Nothing worked well for the Bronx Bombers. Shanky fielding made the pitching look even less effective, and some early scoring chances were wasted before the Rays put this one away. Now, like I said, the game didn't start well. Yvonne Nova struggled almost from the get-go. Three of the first four batters he faced reached pace with James Loney's single, giving Tampa Bay a 2 nothing lead in the top of the first. It became 3 nothing in the second. And the fifth, Kurt Casale, the uh, New Canaan, Connecticut product, doubled and uh, then came around to score on a Nova fielding error. Alex Rodriguez got the Yankees uh, on the board with a home run, but uh, things then fell apart in the top half of the eighth. Our uh, final again was 8-1, to one, and the Yankees can look forward to a well-deserved day off 
before the Oak Renees arrive in New York on Tuesday. Uh, thanks. We'll check in with Susan Walton for Clubhouse Report. You're listening to the Yankees' Agera Energy Post Game Show on the WFAN Yankees Radio Net. Concern Worldwide is a humanitarian organization dedicated to the reduction of suffering and is working towards the ultimate elimination of extreme poverty in the world's poorest country. Since its foundation in 1968, Concern Worldwide's mission is to help people living in extreme poverty achieve major improvements in their lives that last and become self-reliant. To achieve these goals, Concern engages in long-term development work, responds to energy situations, and seeks to address the root causes of poverty. Concern is helping people living in extreme poverty achieve major improvements in their lives that last and become self-sustaining. Concern's track record, particularly in emergency response, child survival, and nutrition, is recognized internationally as being exceptionally high quality. To learn more about Concern Worldwide and how you can help save and change lives in the world's poorest countries, visit ConcernUSA.org. That's ConcernUSA.org. Fans, for your summer barbecues, enhance your salads and foods with Hidden Valley Ranch. You'll find nothing but the taste of simple goodness that made Hidden Valley Ranch famous. Discover fun new twists at HiddenValley.com and visit Best Market in Lake Grove to pick up Hidden Valley Ranch, America's favorite salad dressing. Fans, register to win $50 in free groceries to your favorite hometown grocery store. Log on to HometownGroceriesweepstakes.com to enter and make every time you shop for groceries a home run. No purchase necessary. Hidden Valley Ranch and Best Market in Lake Grove. That's a winning combination. Yankee fans, get to know Mobile Messenger Service. Their messengers, cars, and trucks pick up and deliver anywhere fast. That's good to know. Mobile has been serving New York businesses, institutions, and individuals since 1971, and they are A-plus rated by the Better Business Bureau. That's good to know. Mobile Messenger Service, the 24-hour live operated delivery service. That's good to know. Call 212-247-7400, 212-247-7400, or visit their website, that's good to know.net. Mobile Messenger Service, New York's number one delivery service service. Come out to Yankee Stadium in 2015 to see the New York Yankees in action. On Sunday, July 19th, when the Yankees take on the Mariners, the first 18,000 guests, or any younger, will receive a 2000 World Series champion replica fan ring, courtesy of Veterans Jewelers. For tickets, log on to Yankees.com or visit the Yankee Stadium ticket window, Yankees Clubhouse Shop, or call Ticketmaster at 877-469-9849. The 2015 New York Yankees Make the connection. Yankee fans, today's WFAN Names to Know is sponsored by the First National Bank of Long Island, the bank where everyone knows your name. Vern Lewis Gomez, also known as Lefty, played 30 years for the Yankees, mostly in their 30s. He was a seven-time All-Star, five-time World Series champion, and he won the pitching triple crown in 1934 and 37. In 1972, Lefty was inducted into the Hall of Fame. Tune in for more WFAN Names to Know throughout the season. Sponsored by the First National Bank of Long Island, the bank where everyone knows your name. Member FD. I see. And welcome back to the Gare Energy Yankees postgame show. This is Mike McCann and Susan Waldman's Clubhouse Report, brought to you by the New York Lottery. Hey, you never know. And Susan, collectively 25 guys got up on the wrong side of the grid today. Well, lost, yeah, they lost this game because of defense, actually. I mean, no, no good struggle, but as Joe said to me a minute ago, um, he uh, pitched pretty good for a guy who had nothing. And he went out there, and he didn't have a sinker. He had no command of the fastball. His uh, changeup wasn't working, and his curveball wasn't working. So um, Joe's thought he pitched pretty well for that. He said, this is Joe talking, he said, defense cost us that game. They cost us four applied runs. And not just the Pirella play. Uh, Didi booted a ball. The, the defense was not good. Uh, today, and that was a problem. And he said, we had a bad day. You have to turn the page um, about the Pirella play. Uh, first, he couldn't find the ball, but he still did have time to make the play. If he had not rushed, if he had set himself and, and been able to throw that ball through, he would have been he would have been out, and that wouldn't have been that double error, which really opened up the game. But they play, they didn't play well defensively, anybody. Uh, Joe also thought that they hit the ball very well, and you could see it. They were... See, Tampa is a tight kind of team. They are built on excellent pitching and even more excellent defense. And you saw a lot of um, a lot of balls hit very, very hard, and they just made the plays because that's who they are. And um, you know, once once the errors started coming and once uh, they took Nova out of the game, kind of exploded in that. But as Joe said, you turn the page. Um, he said this team needs a day off. Um, coming back from the the coast and getting in at eight o'clock in the morning is very tough. And it's, 
and they keep, you keep playing and playing, and you don't count that as a day off. And I think everybody's just looking forward to tomorrow and come back and uh, face the A's. And who knows, maybe Tuesday night will be uh, greeting Andrew Miller as well. We know he's supposed to pitch tomorrow night. Well, one, if he feels good, I, can, I can't see any reason why he wouldn't be activated. He's throwing one inning tomorrow in Scranton, Wilkesbury, and, um, and if he's okay, um, he could pitch on, on Tuesday. And if, if the latest on Wednesday, I guess Ellsbury went one for four today, mm -hmm. and um, I, I don't know what's happening there. But Miller will be great because then everybody gets you know backed up a little bit. And you have a much deeper bullpen, which is who it's supposed to be. I think he's sort of chomping at the bit. He's kind of climbing the walls in there. Uh, Miller, he really wants to pitch. So he's and you know he he doesn't need to be built up. But he doesn't need to have a couple of these unless he doesn't feel well when he throws. Uh, he said you know he'll know. And he's he's such a veteran. And he knows what he's doing. So he'll if he can hit spots and he can um, get people out. I I can't see any reason why he wouldn't be back. And, of course, by the time we talk to you and John on Tuesday night, we'll know which of the Yankees are going to be on the All-Star team. Well, you'll know the starters tonight and the reserves tomorrow, and then there's the fan vote. And, of course, Joe is, is kind of rooting hard for a lot of these guys, including A-Rod. Um, he said that, uh, you know, somebody asked him about Alex, and he said Alex's DH numbers uh, rank up with anybody. I'm kind of, uh, you know, it would be kind of interesting to see. There is the fan vote, too, and one of the guys might get in for that. Uh, Teixeira has been as good as anybody at first base. Now, uh, obviously, Miggy was going to win that, w will win that vote, but he he can't play, so that brings one more um, first baseman up there. I think Teixeira has been great. He deserves it. I think McCann deserves it. He's been a tremendous catcher uh, back there. It's going to be very interesting. And of course, I'm forgetting uh, the guy who really has made this team run in Brett Gardner. And uh, who knows, maybe Michael Pineda, certainly uh, his heroics, even though they didn't translate into a win yesterday. He's certainly impressed a lot of people around the league. Well, I'm, I'm not so sure. I'm not, you know, I don't think he's at that level yet. Uh, Miller, maybe, if it has a, would have a sh shot to be um, by the, the, the players. There's so many, there's so many pitchers, uh, Mike, that are just so good. And you start with a Chris Sale and Sonny Gray, and there's, you know, they keep coming and coming and coming. Chris Archer, I mean, that they're, they're all a little, I think, ahead of uh, Pineda on the scale here. Well, lots of talent. We'll know a lot more uh, 40 yep. hours from now. No, you'll know a lot more at 7 o'clock. <laughs> this is true. Thanks. Okay, Mike. Talk to you soon. Highlights of the game are coming up next. You're listening to the Agar Energy Yankees postgame show on the WFAN Yankees Radio Network. Hey, Yankee fans, when it comes to painting your house, it's a whole new ball game with Serta Pro Painters. Serta Pro is committed to delivering an extraordinary experience in every exterior or interior professional painting project. Serta Pro Painters are fully insured. They provide a two-year warranty. And Serta Pro also offers free color consulting to help you select the perfect colors. And attention all building and property managers, Serta Pro Painters are the experts in commercial painting, too. They're the most referred painting company in North America. They're also your neighborhood painters with over 25 local offices in the tri-state area and growing. Serta Pro Painters are proud partners of the New York Yankees and feature premium quality Benjamin Moore paints and stains. Call 1-800-GO-CERTA, C-E-R-T-A, or visit CertaPro.com for your free painting quote. That's CERTA with a C at CertaPro.com. Serta Pro Painters, because painting is personal. I'm a state-of-the-art 16-inch flat-screen TV. And I mean, not to brag or anything, but if a burglar ever breaks into this place, I'm pretty certain I'm the first thing he's going to steal. I mean, it's not like he's going to take that recliner over there. <laughs> or that coffee table. <laughs> <laughs> Your stuff can't protect itself. That's why the Geico Insurance Agency helps make it easy to switch and save on renter's insurance. Renter's insurance will cover personal property loss or damage as well as provide liability protection. Visit Geico.com today. More delicious meals and more beautiful kitchens begin with legendary appliance innovators Sub-Zero and Walt. Family owned and built in the USA, Sub-Zero's energy efficient technology will keep your food fresher longer. Walt's professional heritage, power, and finesse ensures the dish that you have in mind will be the dish you bring to the table. In fact, I know firsthand they're top of the line. I have Sub-Zero Wolf products in my home. To shop for your Sub-Zero and Wolf products, visit Kitchen Designs by Ken Kelly in Williston and Sky Harbor, New York. Go to kitchendesigns.com for directions. How about the Yankees Stadium in 2015 to see the New York Yankees in action? On Saturday, July 18th, when the Yankees take on the Mariners, 
The first 18,000 gas portion in Yonder will receive a Yankees collectible truck, the 11th in the series, courtesy of W.B. Mason. For tickets, log on to Yankees.com or call the Yankee Stadium ticket window, Yankees Clubhouse Shop, or call Ticketmaster at 877-469-9849. The 2015 New York Yankees make the connection. What if every time you stepped on the mound, you had an all-star catcher call a game for you? That's exactly what happens when you put Direct Energy's business team on your team. Direct Energy Business has products to fit and support all of your energy goals. Whether it's scoring electricity, making a defensive play on green products, or securing a lineup to perform energy management solutions. Learn more at directenergy.com. Direct Energy, making businesses better. And welcome back to the Agera Energy Yankees postgame show. Today's highlights are brought to you by Smithtown Nissan. See Fina first at Smithtown Nissan for the best prices on any Nissan car and truck, or go to smithtownnissan.com. Well, the Rays jumped on Ivan Nova for a couple of first inning runs. They certainly, they certainly did. And he grounds one and clear to right field of base hit. One run scores. Here comes Longoria. He scores. It's a two-run single for Loney, and Tampa Bay takes a two-nothing lead. And an inning later, Kevin Kiermaier's fly ball just went over Brett Gardner's glove. Rolled to the wall for a triple. Kurt Casale's sack fly made it 3 0 Tampa Bay. A Nova fielding error then on a sack fly in the fifth, uh, a sack attempt rather in the fifth, brought in the fourth Tampa Bay run. It'll be an 0 1. Cabrera switch it to batting left, trying to pull the ball and get the run of 30 bucks. Back to Nova, who fires the third and throws it away down the left field line. Scoring easily is Casale, and going to second is Cabrera. And the Yankees finally got on the board in the bottom of the sixth inning. We will call this one our drive of the game. A-Rod hits one a deep left center. That ball is high. It is far. It is gone. Alex Rodriguez, what a wallop into the business bullpen in left center. It's an A-Bomb from A-Rod. They trail four to one. And it's brought to you by the new 2016 Audi A6. Experience the new intuitive and powerful A6 with legendary Quattro all-wheel drive at your Tri-State Audi dealers or visit TriStateAudiDealers.com. You're listening to the Yankees post-game show. Alex Rodriguez, his 16th home run of the year, will learn by uh, Monday night whether his numbers have landed him on the American League All-Star team. Starters being announced tonight, the reserves and pitchers in a separate program on Monday evening. Now, the Yanks put uh, two batters on at the bottom of the seventh, but Chase Headley ended with Brent grounding into double play, and then it really got out of hand in the top of the eighth. The Rays breaking it open against reliever Brian Mitchell, who wasn't hit hard. In fact, it was flat out unlucky. A little dribbler by Evan Longoria got things started. Then Jose Perella had trouble with a James Loney ground. This is grounded a second, could be two. Oh, it's followed by Perella. And the foot of first is wild. So they won't get two, and they won't get anyone. And Longoria goes to third. Yeah, if you can, a double error sitting, we raise up the runners on second and third, and that is... Okay, I'm back here with my lunch. I turned the volume down a little bit. You may not be able to hear me. Back here with my lunch. I'm just going to go over to the sign waves one more time and send this up to YouTube. Sine waves are nice. They're a lot more telling than... Uh... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to switch the dummy loads on. Which will put the same amount of stress on the amplifier, but convert the audio energy into heat rather than sound. And let's run this bad boy up a little bit. We're running into forums here. This is really beating the pants off of this. Oh. And there's full power right. Uh, if you look at the scope... I want to turn that down a little bit before we blow it up. If you look at the scope, full power is achieved when the top and the bottom of the sine wave starts to um, square wave, which is right about there. And I don't want to leave it there too long. Woo! But uh, that's full power right there, and we're really stressing it right there. I'm going to bring it back down. It's probably too loud. But anyways, that's the end of this. Let me turn this down. That's the end of this demonstration. This is going up.